This is the USS Glacier, a great American ship of discovery. She served the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard, making 39 voyages of exploration to the Poles. The legendary Admiral Richard Byrd helmed the glacier's maiden voyage in 1956. The glacier was 310 feet long, with a 74-foot beam and a draft of up to 30 feet. She was purpose-built to penetrate the polar ice. Her unique slope-shaped forefront and stern enabled her to drive straight through ice seven feet thick. Or she could ride up onto the ice, then slam down, using her weight to break through ice up to 20 feet thick. The hull plates were 1 and 5 eighths inches armor-plated steel, and she had an inner hull forming a double bottom. Her sides were rounded, and her healing tanks enabled the ship to break free from the crushing ice by pumping 140,000 gallons of ballast from side to side. Ten Westinghouse diesel-electric generators drove the 21,000-horsepower electric motors, the most powerful DC motors ever installed on a ship. They turned two 13-foot diameter propellers, generating a top speed of 18 knots and a range of over 29,000 miles on one fueling of 835,000 gallons. The glacier had a crew of 41 officers and scientists, and 320 enlisted men and technicians. Originally, she was armed with a twin 5-inch 38 caliber, two twin 3-inch 50 caliber cannons, and six 40 millimeter cannons. There were also two armed LCVP amphibious landing craft. The glacier also had two helicopters, two motor whale boats, and an Arctic survey boat. She had a loft conning station 74 feet above the waterline. Other features included carbon arc spotlights, towing and oceanographic winches, aerographer and photographic laboratories, library, and a hospital. The glacier was decommissioned in 1987. She went to scrap after failing preservation as a museum in 2012. The Glacier Society educates youth about the history of the glacier and all icebreakers in the North and South Poles. Make a donation to support the Society and to preserve its collection of the ship's original documentation, crew photos, journals, correspondence, and artifacts. We need your support to help educate future generations and honor all those who served in the past.